Hello, I'm Bondi Kirby. And today I'm going to talk about what can be a complex subject that does sometimes come up in EB-5. And that's the birth of a child to a naturalized parent. In EB-5, you know that after five years, you qualify for American citizenship and you can become a citizen through naturalization. Now, we know that a child physically born in the United States is a citizen by birth. But what happens if that child is born to a non-citizen, non-green card holder in China where the father, the parent, is a citizen by virtue of naturalization? Now this is something that you should discuss directly with your immigration attorney because like I say, it can get complex. But simply stated, there is a residency requirement. You must show, the naturalized parent must show, that they were in the United States for a period of five years. That's physical presence in the United States. Now they include that period of physical presence in the United States when you were a green card holder. And oddly enough, they also will include the genetic grandparent if in fact they are residing in the United States. So this can again be a complex subject. So make sure you review it with your immigration attorney, but know that your residency in the United States, your physical presence as a naturalized citizen is an important factor in whether your child born in a foreign jurisdiction receives citizenship in the United States. I know this is complex and I know it's confusing. Make sure you discuss it with your attorney.